Hi everyone, Brianna Nard here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be wrapping up our little mini series on amusement park science and we're going to end with probably my favorite part of my trip to Universal and really the main reason I go there and why a lot of people go there anymore is talking about the magic science of Harry Potter world. I love Harry Potter, I love Harry Potter a lot. Um, recently redecorated our entire TV room to be all of my own, like all of my Harry Potter stuff. Um, so it's like a little Harry Potter shrine. Makes me very excited. <laughs> now, one of the really cool things to do at Harry Potter World, the Universal, is they now have these interactive ones. So you can go to different places in the uh, within the Harry Potter World area, and you can use a wand. And this one is mine. This is the one that chose me. Um, you can use a wand and move it in a direction and say the right spell and something's gonna happen in the park. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about the science or magic about how this works. So upon first thinking about how you would make an interactive wand work or something like a magic wand work, you might think it has to do with electronics. And there are plenty of magic wands in all various franchises that do use electronics, but these particular ones don't actually. So if you look very closely right here at the tip of this wand, there is a little sphere. And what this is, is something called a retro reflector. So you may be familiar with reflection, like in mirrors, that's how we see ourselves, or bouncing off of different lenses, you have reflection. And that, those are reflectors, which are different than a retro reflector. So a retro reflector is something that takes the incoming light coming towards it and bounces it off parallel to the light source. So straight back to that light source. Now, if you look at a mirror, if you have a mirror and you have a light ray coming in at an angle, it's gonna bounce back at that opposite angle going the other direction. The only way to have a mirror where it, the incoming light or the reflected light goes back out the same way the incoming light did is if you hit the mirror directly parallel. So if you hit the mirror directly parallel, not parallel, perpendicular, goodness, hit, if the incoming light is perpendicular to the mirror, the outgoing light is going to reflect back also perpendicular straight up. But a retro reflector, no matter which direction the incoming light is, when it hits it, it's going to direct it parallel back to that incoming light source. So retro reflectors can be made in a couple of different ways. You can actually stitch together like three mirrors and end to a corner and the light will bounce off of them in a way that sends it back parallel or similar to what is in this wand is called a cat's eye retro reflector, which is a circularly shaped lens, which again, the light is gonna bounce all inside of that lens or reflection and it's going to reflect back out parallel. So at Universal, the way this works is in each little interactive wand spot, there is an infrared camera with infrared lights pointing out of it. And the infrared lights come in and they come towards your wand and then you move your wand in a particular shape and it reflects all of those infrared beams back parallel to that infrared camera, which reads those. And if you happen to move your wand in the correct shape according to each area, then it's gonna set off the motion display trigger for that little scenario. So it's a super cool application of optics in order to make something very, very magical. And I don't think knowing the science behind it ruins any of the magic either. Today we learned a little bit of the science behind the magic of bringing Harry Potter world to life at Universal. And it's using a really cool feature of optics called a retro reflector in order to bounce light back to a sensor to pick up wand movements, which I, that's a genius idea. So you don't gotta worry about batteries, you don't gotta worry about malfunctioning electronics because light works all the time. <laughs> so today's fun fact we're gonna write is that in addition to these super fun wands, retro reflectors are also used on road signs or like construction vests and stuff like that to help drivers see better at night. So please be sure to rate that fun fact on a scale of one to 10 in the comments below. Like this video, please subscribe to my channel and tell all of your friends about it. Uh, please follow me on Instagram and I post videos on every Tuesday and Friday. And please remember to always keep it sciency. So today we learned a little bit of some magic about uh, Today, today 